New at noon, election officials are predicting a record-breaking voter turnout, and a group of nuns is canvassing the country, pushing for change. While they do have a political agenda, the sisters say the most important thing is to get out the vote. After 11 states and more than 5,000 miles on the road, they pull up to a cheering crowd in Milwaukee. We, we keep saying, well, how is it that a handful of old nuns and a colorful bus inspires so much hope? But it does. Sister Barbara Farr has been on the bus for a week, but it's been touring the country for more than two months, picking up local nuns along the way. The driving force behind it, Sister Simone Campbell. It's we the people who are the voters. We the people have the power. We the people can make a difference. Well, I'm doing this because of my faith. Early voters already turned out in record numbers in Wisconsin. And according to the Government Accountability Board, we're on pace to have a record turnout on Election Day as well. More than two and a half million people are expected at the polls. That would be the most ever for a November gubernatorial. And so we've been working hard to make sure that everybody votes, and it is good to see that it looks like it's going to happen. Just across the street from the Nuns on the Bus rally, three Baptist churches spreading their own get-out-the-vote message and offering free rides to the polls. Turns out to be it's a great corner to be on with all the other activity happening here today. <laughs> And more voter support on the corner, working to ensure that record-setting prediction actually happens. Well, this is the day. I mean, this is election day. It's the day for everybody to get out and have their voice heard. If you need help finding your polling place or want to see a sample ballot before you head out to the polls, go to our website, tmj4.com, and then click on the elections guide. Stay with today's TMJ.